Hello, I'm Artifax of Mars, and here's what they're considering proof that the Russians uh, put Trump in. Unbelievable. The U.S. intercepts captured senior Russian officials celebrating Trump win. So, they like Trump. Uh, well, there's a reason they might like Trump in that Hillary wanted to land nuclear bombs on their heads, but well, hologram Hillary wanted to blow him up. So, and Trump says he wants to work with him. Now, which would you rather have? Somebody in there wants to work with you or somebody wants to kill you? Senior officials in the Russian government celebrated Donald Trump's victory over Hillary, hologram Hillary, his geopolitical win for Moscow, according to U.S. officials who said the American intelligence agencies intercepted communications in the aftermath of the election in which Russian officials congratulated themselves on the outcome. The ebullient re reaction among high-ranking Russian officials, including some who U.S. officials believe had knowledge of the country's cyber campaign to intervene, interfere in the U.S. election, contributed to the U.S. intelligent community as assessment that Moscow's efforts were aimed at losing part in helping Trump win the White House. Right. Other key pieces of information gathered by U.S. spy agencies, including the identification of actors involved in delivering stolen Democratic emails, the WikiLeaks website, and disparities in the level of levels of effort Russian intelligent entities devoted to penetrating and exploiting sensitive information stored on Democrat and Republican campaign networks. Those and other data points are at the heart of an unprecedented intelligence report being circulated in Washington this week that details the evidence of Russian interference in 2016 presidential campaign and catalogs other cyber operations by Moscow against U.S. election systems in over the past nine years. Classified document, which officials say is over 50 pages, was delivered to Obama on Thursday and <coughs> expected to be presented to Trump in New York on Friday by the nation's top, top spy officials, including Director of National Intelligence James R. Clapper and CIA. CIA Director John Turbin Brennan. Given the president elect's skepticism about the intelligence community, particularly its conclusions about Russia, Trump Tower briefing has taken on tenure of a showdown between the president elect and U.S. intelligence agencies he has disparaged. The Russians felt pretty good about what happened on November 8th, and they all also feel pretty good about what. They did, a senior U.S. official said. U.S. officials declined to say whether the, the intercepted communications were cited in the classified version of the report commissioned by Obama, and they emphasized that although the messages were seen strong indicators of Moscow's intent and clear preference for Trump, they were not regarded as conclusive evidence of Russian intelligence agencies to achieve that outcome. There are a variety of different exhibits that make the case, different factors that have provided the intelligence community with high confidence that Russia sought in part to help elect Trump. So the second senior U.S. official has reviewed the intelligence findings on Russia's cyber operations. So let's take a look at... Uh, Another story that relates to this. Uh, James Clapper takes a swipe at Trump and the as he defunds 
Russian hack email info. Uh, Clapper said told the arms services community that Russia has stepped off its cyber espionage operations but stopped short of declaring that Russian election hacking is an act of war, saying that you, there would be a very heavy policy call more appropriate for others to make. In other words, he's uh, saying Congress ought to declare war. High stakes Senate Arms, Armed Services Community hearing after, came after President elect Donald Trump continued to cast out on Wednesday on um, intelligence findings. Russians hacked DNC emails. It also comes on a day when lawmakers are being briefed on the breadth and depth of Russian interference on the eve of Trump's own in-depth briefing. Uh, NBC News confirms that Obama was has received and was orally briefed on this report on Thursday. Now, let's uh, see if I can find out what McCain has, Senator McCain is up to. Let's go right down Hearing sets the stage for a potential showdown between lawmakers and president-elect on assessment of issue, the extent to which Russians weighed in on Trump's win. McCain said the purpose of reviewing Russia's involvement in the election hacking is not to call into question the outcome of the presidential election. However, such a review, he said, is vital and necessary to democracy and free and fair elections. Every American should be alarmed by Russia's hacks tax on our nation. There's no national security interest more vital to the United States of America than the ability to hold free and fair elections without foreign interference, McCain said in his opening statement. When is this goddamn rhino going to get thrown out of office? I'm tired of this. Put a Democrat in there. What's the difference? That is why Congress must set aside partisan, partisanship all the facts and work together to devise comprehensive the solu solutions to deter, defend against, when necessary, respond to for foreign cyber attacks. They want war, folks. This is the bottom line. I'm not going to go on uh, with the rest of this, but they want war. McCain is more on. He's senile. He ought to be throwing the hell out of there. They're, they're asking for war with Russia. Now, we got two weeks, and Obama, from, Obama is growing more and more unstable every day. You don't know what's going to happen with, with this imbecile. This is a very, very dangerous time. I'm not predicting anything's going to happen. I'm simply saying that the danger is there, and it's getting worse. <sighs> if I was to take a guess, I would say we'll have a bit of a rough ride with inauguration and all the leftists converging in uh, Washington, D.C., but we'll get through it just fine. <sighs> But you never know. You wake up in the middle of the night and uh, everybody's heading away from the city down your road. Who knows? So, these people are something else, I'm telling you. This is their proof, though. The Russians loved it. Love the fact that Trump got elected. As like I said, Hologram Hillary wanted to blow him up. Trump says he wants to work with him. Who would you support? Who would you sit there and say, mm. Okay. <laughs> I want one that 
uh, intends to drop uh, nuclear bombs on my head. That's what I'm supposed to refer. Unbelievable. They're crazy. The artifacts of Mars.